is going to be a video I've never done before. Oh, the background is making me mad. I need to put on Hannah Montana. There we go. So in today's video is going to be a little different. Like I said, I've never filmed this video before. It is going to be a girl talk video. So I'm going to be looking up, looking at questions that we can do girl talk for. So obviously I don't have that many enough subscribers yet to like put like a question, like a girl talk questions or like a Q&A questions like up but I do have some close friends that are subscribed to my YouTube channel that asked me some questions and I put them on the iPad because currently I'm filming on my phone and I'm gonna look up some also so let's get right into girl talk okay the first question is how do I deal with the breakup girl mmm honestly it depends because I will say, I, whenever I go through breakups, well, right now I'm in a happy relationship, but we, he's my ex, so we broke up before. But I will say, like, whenever I go through breakups, I take them to heart. At first, you know, obviously, I say this to all of my really close friends. Um, you need to wallow. And wallowing is basically when you watch sad movies like the like the notebook and like the Titanic like love movies like that I always suggest those two and you are basically eating ice cream and watching the Titanic and crying because I feel like it makes you feel worse about yourself and it makes your makes your heart hurt more if you're just like trying to hold it in hold it back do that cried out for one night just cried out or yeah cried out and then you need to put it into a realization that I'm guessing usually I feel like you take it more hard whenever they break up with you um that was my case whenever I took it really hard and I wish I knew this advice that I do now, then, but I didn't, so I'm going to help you guys. So yeah, you need to wallow. And then the next day after you wallow, you need to get your butt out of bed. You need to do a cutesy little morning routine. I'm telling you when I say this, hit a workout. Make them regret their lives. Dye your hair red. Get a piercing. Get a cute outfit. Actually, get ready. Feel yourself. Take some Instagram pictures. Like, just the stuff like that that will make you feel so much better. And I know that it won't heal you, but it will definitely help. And you just need to have a good mindset. You need to have a good mindset or else... You won't feel better like if you're going into the mindset that like I'm never gonna get over him like this is gonna be terrible it will be terrible go into the mindset that like I will be okay it's gonna be fine then it will be fine like you know okay this is one that I take very seriously and I take this one to heart I take it personal um how do you tackle anxiety and depression in your life this one is a very good one and I have found, I know that like what works for me is not going to work for everybody, but this one really helps me out. So if I'm feeling, sometimes I will just like wake up and I just feel a type of way. It's like my depression and what I, the second I do, I cannot like lay around. I can't be by myself. It helps me a lot whenever I'm surrounded by people and to be honest, I do not have really any friends I really don't so I go downstairs I hang out with my family um I like to work out working out really helps me 
watching Disney movies helps me. Watching, you know, funny videos, things that, like, you find funny. Like a good, maybe a good YouTuber. Um, listen to a good podcast about, like, in how to cope with anxiety and depression. It really helps you. And that helps me. Like, it, and again, what helps me might not help you. But, like, also, the podcast, like, those people are talking about, like, what helps them. So, it's obviously, di- might be different than mine. So that might help you as well. And just like, yeah, like that's what I would do. That's what I do to help cope with that. And I put a good mindset in my head. Like, again, like it's going to be okay. Like, I'm going to be fine. Like, I just need to take breath. I need to move on with my life. Because I don't like sitting around being depressed. I really don't. I mean, no one does. Oh my god, my Hydro Jug. Hydro Jug, sponsor me. This is not. But yeah, that's my personal preference. And if you have, like, somebody that makes you really happy in your life, maybe it's a boyfriend, maybe it's your best friend, um, maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your sibling, whatever that per- whoever that person may be, Talk to them about it. Maybe they can be like your personal therapist. Or maybe they're, you just need their good energy. And that will help you. The next question I also take to heart. How to get out of a bad relationship. Now, um, I, okay, so, at least this is my opinion. I dated this one guy in like, 2019. It's not the guy I'm dating now. It's not present. I also dated him in 2019. And we dated for a few months. And he broke up with me. And that, I took that really hard. That revolves around the first question. I took that really hard. And then he wanted to get with me. And I was dumb and I was stupid. And I got back with him. But then I started to realize, like, he's not what I want. Like, I want a boy that's, like... He was very, like, I wanted to, like, hug. I wanted to post pictures. Like, I wanted to do all the couple things. And he, like, didn't. He was kind of, like, eh. Like, if I, like, wanted to hold hands, he was, like, like tried to let go and stuff. And, like, that's not me. Like, and I know that's not really a bad relationship. But I'm just kind of doing how to get out of a relationship. Um, sorry. I get so sidetracked. It's ridiculous. Um, and then I was just like, I just was like, bye, like, and then I found somebody that did a couple of things with me, and we were together for a while, and we broke up for reasons. I have a story time of that whole relationship. I'll put it in the description, but yeah, and then you just, honestly, I know it's, it will be hard to, like, let go of a person Because obviously you're in a relationship with them for a reason. So there was definitely love there at some point. And I I know you're going to want to look back at all the good memories you had. Don't do that because look at how they're treating you. Like if he wanted to, he would. Like I swear to you, you deserve to be treated good. And if you're in most of the time you do know when you're in a bad relationship. But girls, but whoever maybe even guys or whoever um try to cover it up like oh no like he was just having a bad day no like deny 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 but it's not like it's not right it's not like that's not how it's supposed to be so you just need to put realization into your head talk to somebody about it And you just need to get out. Even if it's really toxic and he just tries to get back in, do not let him back in. Find your happiness. Find your self-love. Move on with your life without that. You don't need any of that. Okay, the next question I really love is where do you find inspiration? Inspirate. Like, I... Um... Like, I don't know what kind of inspiration this is going to be, but I'm just going to do, like, life inspiration. Like, outfits, maybe. Like, 
like life le- like life inspiration like working out and stuff um podcast really helped me um one I really like is the wellness cafe she's um really good at um with talking about all kinds of things kind of like this video um Pinterest I love like outfits and like journaling um Pinterest, even TikTok, like, YouTube, that's, like, where I find, like, inspiration. I don't have, like, a certain person, just, you know. Okay, this one's getting a little, is it normal that sex seems weird to me? Absolutely, I do. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I thought that... (laughs) <laughs> I thought that I said it's not normal. Um, no. Okay. Is it normal that sex seems weird to me? Absolutely. Would it, honestly, whatever you think is normal to you, and that's okay. It might not be normal to others, but it's normal to you. Um, I totally understand that and where you're coming from. I totally get it. And that's okay. Like, you think whatever you think, and that's normal for you. It might not be normal for other people, but I mean, sex is a normal thing, but if you think that's weird, it's totally fine. Like, that's totally normal. Okay, this question also speaks volumes to me. When to know when it's time to walk away. Um... I can relate to this because it's happened to me before. Whenever it seems like you guys aren't talking and or it seems like you're fighting or you guys aren't communicating or you feel like very empty and you feel like you don't have any self-love and You feel very, like, defeated in a way, or, like, you're crying often. I would say that's when. Um, there's also other ways, but that's just my personal opinion. That's what I would say. And I feel like, also, it doesn't have to be, like, Honestly, and you could be leaving a healthy relationship too. Like, if you just feel like now's not the time for you guys, that's fine. Tell them that. Like, don't leave it on bad terms. Like, F you. Like, don't. And don't, like, pinpoint him on anything. Honestly, I wouldn't even do that if it was toxic. Just because I feel like you don't want that on you. If you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that's what I would... That's how I would explain when it's time to walk away. Should I use pads or tampons? Bro, whatever feels comfortable to you. I would... Um, If you're, like, new to your period, I would use a pad. Obvi- just start out with a pad. And then once it starts getting heavier, maybe... Try out a tampon, and if you don't like tampons, use pads. But then if you like tampons, use tampons. I personally use tampons. That's my preference, so that's what I think is comfortable for me. But you do whatever you need to do. But that's what I feel most comfortable in. But if you feel comfortable in pads, do you. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Okay, the next question is difficult. How do you get over an ex? So, honestly, this is so terrible, but it depends. Okay, um, obviously, focus on your self-love. That will make you more not focus on him or her. And then focus on yourself more. And go on dates. Go find people. And there are some really good people. 
sorry, it like, there are some really good people out there, and there that are even better for you than your ex. So, like, go on dates, find somebody else. Like, that, uh, and I know it's bad, but that helps. Like, it really does. Like, and I know there's like a saying that's like, you realize you loved your ex once you failed to replace them. And I know that, but don't be scared of that. And I know different, like, ex and you relationships are different. But if it's, like, I feel like that's a way of, like, saying it. Like, go on dates with somebody else. Like, focus on yourself. Like, I don't think you really can force yourself to get over an ex, in my opinion. I think you just kind of have to move on with your life. And if they're meant to be with you, they'll come back into your life eventually. But for now, you can't just sit and waiting for them and wish that like you were with them like if they are meant to be with you they will be with you eventually that's how I put it okay the next one what is the best part about being in a relationship I would say like having like always somebody there like having somebody to count on that's what it is for me like ha always having someone there that you know is going to be there for you that's yeah that's a good way to say it. Oh my god, this is one that's like super fun. First date advice. First date advice, I would say, I know it can be nervous. Honestly, um, okay. Um, it depends how like long you've talked to this person. Like if it's just like a casual, like, hey, do you want to go out? Like this type of thing. Um, okay. Honestly take a breath. I know you, you are definitely nervous, but they are definitely nervous too. Like it's not just you, but boys kind of cover it worse. I mean, cover it way better than girls do. So just take a breath, drink some water, say in the mirror, I'm a bad bitch and go on your date, whatever you're doing. If you're going to the movies, you know, walk there, always bring money. If they're a gentleman, they'll pay. Um, but honestly, just be like, here, I'll pay. Be like, here. And then if he's like, no, I've got it, be like, okay, thanks. Aw, thanks. Or, you know. And then, whatever, this can be for anything. But I'm just using a movie as an example because I go to the movies. Um, yeah, and then, you know, if you're at the movies, if he buys you a snack or anything, Whatever. And then you go into the movie, sit down, watch, talk about random things in the trailer so it's not awkward or anything. And then slowly, once you get into the movie, maybe lean on his shoulder, hold hands, maybe a little kiss. You know. This can be for anything, like anytime. That's the advice I would give you. And be yourself. Like, there's no reason to be nervous, and then if you, and then if it's not the best date, then don't go again. But if it's good, then say, hey, we should do that again sometime. Yes, point blank, period. Oh my god, the next question is, how do I help my painful period cramps? Oh my god, ugh. So, I just recently started getting period cramps. I've got, I've had my period. I'm 14 right now. I've had my period since I was 11. I was 11. Um, I didn't really get period cramps, but now I get them and they hurt. But here's some things I will say that help. Um, drink water. I know, but water, like, it does help. Drinking water. Maybe drink some hot tea or something hot and it will get warm in your stomach. A heated blanket, a heating pad, Tylenol, lay down. That's the stuff that I do. Um, that really helps me. Okay, the next question is period related to can I sleep? I mean, not sleep. Can I swim on my period? Yes, you can swim on your period. 
um, you can put any tampon, but if you don't use tampons, you don't need to. You can use a tampon. Um, I mean, if you feel the need to put something down just in case, um, you can do a little pad, like a panty liner-ish. And if it fills up, you can just take it off. Because I have swam before. Um, at a cheerful party. And it was fine, but then... Whenever I got out of the pool, it started leaking down my leg. And I had to rinse off. But I swam on my period another time. And my period was fine. But it was also, like, the first year I got it. So I don't know if that explains anything. But, yeah. But yeah, if you don't use tampons, I mean, obviously the best option is a tampon. But if you don't use tampons, that's perfectly fine. You can just pull in a panty liner or you can even put on a pad. Just make sure you have an extra one so it doesn't, because think about it, diapers getting wet, like expands. So that's why I recommend a panty liner might be best for you. Oh my god, the next question I love, and I could talk about this all day long. What is your love language? My love language is words of affirmation. If you don't know much about love languages, love languages are like touch. Some are touch, like um, words of affirmation, like the things people say or write or whatever. Gift giving. Um, what is another one? I forgot the other ones, but there's like ones spending time with them, all those stuff. That's um, what words of affirmation are. Um, how old were you when you got your period? I already said this, but I was 11 and I got it in fifth grade. Oh my god. This <laughs> I have a lot of discharge. Is that normal? Yes. Oh my god. I have so much discharge. TMI, like, stop it right now. I have so much discharge. And that is normal, y'all. That's like a, it cleans your vagina. And to help with that, just put on a panty liner on your underwear. That is enough. Or whenever you just wipe down there every once in a while. Then you are good to go. <laughs> okay. This person said, once a cheater, always a cheater, question mark. So, I'm debatable with this one because some cases, yes, they are always a cheater. But, I do think that people grow up and people change. So, I'm kind of debatable about that one. Like, if you were young and in a relationship and the guy cheated on you and a few years later he wanted you back and he was trying to prove to you that he wasn't cheating I do think that's the case that it might not be once a cheater always a cheater if you understand where I'm coming from with that oh my god a confession <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this on YouTube guys this is girl talk only if there are boys on here get off um, I used to look up sex on my iPad, and my mom said, what is that? And I was like, I was like, somebody rolled dice at school with letters on them, and they said, one was S, one was E, and one was X, so I looked it up because I wanted to know what it was. <laughs> so yeah, that's my biggest confession. And I think I peed the bed until I was like 10. Swear to God. <laughs> okay. The, now, the last few minutes of the video, I'm going to be doing TMI questions. Do you masturbate? Doesn't everyone? Seriously, though. What's something you only do when you're alone? Masturbate. <laughs> Um. 
Do you get jealous easily? Unfortunately, I do. I just can't help it. I feel like I get jealous, like, relationshipy jealous. Like, for instance, Preston, like, if I even... If I saw him talking to another girl, I'd flip out. It's not that I'm, like, like, controlling. Like, it's just, like, I hate seeing that. Like, he's mine. Like, um... How big are your boobs? Ah! Like, like. Like. I think they're bees. 32 bees. Is Commando sexy or sickening? Oh, it is sexy. Oh my god, I'm not doing that one. Oh. Oh my god. Please, if somebody in my family is watching this, please get off this video, please. What kind of porn do you like to look at? I like to look at a variety of stuff. Lesbian might be on my radar. <laughs> um... Um, what age did you have your first sexual experience? Um, nada. At what age did you have your first kiss? Eleven. At what age did you have your first crush and who was it? Um, like, I think I was like five and it was this boy named Grant. What is the biggest lie you've ever told? Um, in fifth grade, right when the day I got my period, I went to this Christmas party and they were like, oh my God, you got your period. And I was like, no, I didn't. I shoved a rock up there. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Um... Okay. How many relationships have you been in? Two. But um, the only real, 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 real one I would say is one. I've dated like people for like two days. <laughs> Or one day. Do you prefer being single or in a relationship? Um, I think it depends. I think it's great if you're single. I think it's great to be single. I think you feel very free. But also I love being in a relationship also. Because, you know, you get to have someone and you... I think both. And I know it's bad, but I think both. What was your longest and shortest relationship? My longest is the one I'm in right now. It's going, we're going on eight months on Wednesday. Um, 
my shortest was a day. <laughs> um, do you think sex is important in a relationship? I've never done that, but I will say yes because I feel like sex is healthy and I feel like it's a part of a relationship. If you know what I mean? Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. What do you th think makes a good relationship? Communication and like being best friends but also being lovers at the same time. Um, is there an ex you would love to be back together with? Yes, the one I'm with. I got back with him. Again, description below. Watch the video. Story time. Um, I'm still trying to find some questions. Um, what? How many tabs slash different windows do you have open this very moment? Let me go see. Haywise.com, Planet Fitness, and McDonald's. <laughs> um. Sorry, it takes me forever, guys. Okay, I think that is all for today's Girl Talk video. Thank you all for listening and having Girl Talk with me. I love you all too. Jason Rona back and I will see you in my next video. Love you back. <laughs>